Welcome to the second video of the series on installing BMC Atrium Orchestrator. In the last part, we successfully installed Atrium Single Sign-On. In this video, we'll install the repository and the CDP server. This is our BAO server package. Let's extract it. Go to the extracted folder and double click the setup file. Click run. Hit the OK button. Now this is the welcome screen. Click next. Accept the license agreement. Over here, we are performing a fresh install of the component, so we'll select the first radio button. Click Next. Select the repository. On this screen, you can only select one option at a time. In order to install other components, you need to rerun the installer. Click the Next button. This is the default location where repository will be installed. Click Next. Over here, it's asking for the port on which the repository service will be deployed. I'll provide 9080. Based on the startup port that we have provided, it has automatically picked the shutdown port. Now click Next. In this field, provide the Atrium SSO host name. Make sure you provide the fully qualified domain name and provide the admin password for SSO. Click the advanced button. This is the service name for your repository. If you want, you can change it over here. Uh, it will be installed on HTTPS protocol and it has automatically picked up the repository server host name. Click next. Now it is asking if we want to start the repository service automatically after the installation has completed. We'll say yes. Click the next button. This is the summary of the choices we have made. Click install and wait for the repository component to successfully install. Over here, you can see it says the installation of BMC Atrium Orchestrator platform has successfully completed. Click done. Let's check if the repository service was successfully deployed and started. You can see the repository service has successfully started. Now once we have the Atrium SSO and repository successfully started, the next component is CDP, for which I'll switch to a different machine. On this server, I'll be installing the CDP. I have already copied the installer files over here. Let's extract the server package. Go to this directory, run the setup.cmd file, click OK. This is the welcome screen, click the next button, accept the license agreement. We'll be installing a new orchestrator component, click next. And this time we'll choose CDP. If you prefer, you can also install these two optional components, the OCP and the graphing server. Click Next. This is the location where the CDP will be installed. Now it's asking for the CDP startup port. I'll change it to 18080. Now based on the startup port, it has automatically picked the shutdown port and this is the CDP communication port. You can leave the settings as it is. Click Next. On this screen, make sure you have the primary CDP radio button selected. When adding a secondary node of CDP, you need to select this radio button. Provide it a grid name. This is the default one. 
will name our CDP peer CDP. Our repository is using HTTPS. Now it's asking for the repository host name. Provide the fully qualified domain name. Provide the repository port here. For us, it's 9080. And lastly, the HTM SSO admin password. Click the advanced options. This will be the name of the CDP service. This will be our environment name. Our CDP will be installed on HTTPS protocol and this will be the CDP host machine. Now click next. Now it's asking if we want to start the CDP service after installation. We'll say yes. Click the next button. This is our installation summary. Click install and wait for the CDP to successfully install. As you can see, the CDP has been successfully installed. Click the done. Let's see if the services are deployed and running. Here we have the CDP service and it's running as expected.